Tonight, even as the rain tapers off, historic flooding continues to bring misery to much of South Carolina. The state's governor calls it a storm seen only once in a thousand years. Hundreds of roads are still closed, many homes are underwater, and state leaders say it could be weeks before they can assess all the damage. And nearly 40,000 people in South Carolina are without water as the flooding damaged some water treatment facilities. Today, Mike Linden talked to Tammy Lane, a Lexington woman who went to South Carolina to visit family, but now can't get back home. We haven't seen this level of rain in the low country in a thousand years. That's how big this is. According to Governor Haley, nine people have died so far in the historic flooding in South Carolina. For one Lexington woman visiting family back home, she got more than she bargained for. We have gotten in the last three or four days here upwards of 24, 25 inches of rain. Lane works for Fayette County Public Schools, but has been visiting family in Kings Tree, where she grew up. It's a town of uh, 3,500 people, uh, mostly rural farming community. She says most of the roads surrounding Kings Tree are impassable. Lane says she expected to come to work today here at Fayette County Public Schools, but because of the flooding, she's not even able to leave. She says that she hopes to return to work by the end of the week, but it all depends on whether or not the roads are clear. At first, it was a matter of not wanting to drive back in the sheeting rain, but then now it's a matter of small roads and bridges being washed out, and even the interstates around Columbia. While no one in her family was hurt, she says when the roads are safe to drive on, she'll return to Lexington, however long it may take. It's normally about a 10 hour trip around between. About five, 550 miles, um, but it may take us a couple of days. We may have to do it in sections. In Lexington, Mike Linden, WKYT. And the Bluegrass chapter of the American Red Cross is sending its disaster services manager to South Carolina to help manage one of the shelters there.